This is my second range trip with the CAA micro conversion kit on the G31. I was testing out zeroing with the Strike Fire 2 on the cantilevered mount, and results were interesting. And I came to a few conclusions and found one or two issues. Thanks. My suspicion is is that this uh, cantilevered uh, vortex mount is not going to work on this rail with this gun. So uh, that literally climbed up, pushing it five more yards outside of the eight-inch circle, where I was kind of running high when I was five yards closer. Now I'm outside of the circle, I'm not. Out. They really open up just even between trying seven yards and ten yards. Seven, I'm just a little high by the time I go to ten yards. There's something in the angle. This scope must have an angle to it. Um, we'll try to move it around and see. Move the red dot back on the rail to see if that affects this change based on yardage. Yeah, that definitely brought it down. Before it was sitting, kind of the back of the cantilever was sitting back right here in kind of the thin of it. This is a polymer rail. So that brought it back down closer to what I was getting when I originally shot with this Ford at the seven yard. Groups almost identical and just high of my mark on the paper. We're gonna go for the two circles aim near the bottom. This has been shooting consistently higher for the bottom of the two and see how we do. Let's see what a 25 yard group does. Group at 10, after I moved the vortex back and then I moved it out to 25, you can see that it's still climbing, so I'll try to adjust it and reshoot one more time. Of course, my point of aim was down at the base of the two. I got one, two, three, four, and then a flyer. So I'm thinking maybe the cantilever mounts are not really good for the uh, micro conversion kit. That's 12 clicks down. I'm going to try the two still again and see if that makes any difference here at 25 yards.
Fun town. Let's see. Now the curiosity is if I go to 10 yards, does it have an impact on it? the same hold at 10 and see what we get. Yeah, that's pretty spot on right there. So I was aiming down here at the base, and that's the five shot group at 10 yards. See the climb. So shooting down here and a little bit high, some, but not, no consistency. And the climb started up here. That was when I brought it down 12 clicks, but that was at 25 yards. So I might try to tune it a little bit more. Part of what I suspect is that. High. If we look how high we are on the actual bore on gun by the time we get to on here and by the time we add cantilever rays on here, I'm just thinking maybe the, the height of the uh, red dot is, is just too high for this particular setup with the uh, G31 and the MCK. MCK shoots well. It's been consistent. The gun functions perfectly in it, but I may try a, a lower red dot on this later just gonna turn it down uh, just say another six clicks it's not a huge loss this is a red dot that I basically had back in the box for about a year or so now so it can always work on something else I may try I know I'm getting a Fayache kind of a lower mount to test out here soon so I may see how that let's go for the Hole in the five. That's the uh, hole in the five. I may have brought it down a little bit too much. I was aiming in here and it did drop down, but I'm going to push it out again to 25 and try one more group and see if that bringing it a little bit lower than aim at 10 helps. Yeah, that's a mystery. There's four and one. Again, aiming here. Ending up up here. I dropped in the footage of the new Feiache Microdot. I will be testing that one sometime this week. Thanks for watching.